hard mode. More like not really that difficult mode. Yeah, I know. Really rolls off the tongue. What's up, guys? I'm yet another gamer, and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I wanted to play more of this game just because I really like it for some reason. I don't know. It seems to be really popular. Pretty much everyone on the earth has probably played it. And I wanted to do the campaign, but I wanted to do a challenge. So if you've ever played Total Tank Simulator, then you know that they recently came out with the update that had a difficulty setting where you could change it from normal to hard, or vice versa. I mean, if you're wimp, I guess. I don't know. And the difference pretty much being that you get 20% less money. So I thought I would do the same challenge in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I assume that they're probably going to update the game with some type of difficulty thing, but you never know. Also, I learned a ton about the game. For example, control, you can see it adds this grid here, so that would be helpful. And there's also slow motion. So Also, I know like what units are decent and sort of know what I'm doing, I suppose. Alright, so 20% less money would be 400. So I have 400 money. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the best cheap unit, as you may have seen, probably not. Why would you bother? But it's just farmers, so you can probably win with this many. Yeah, let's go. Totally accurate strategy. So there we go. Look at that slow motion. Looks pretty good. Let's get a slow motion on this. Yeah, woo. Go, pitchforks. Whack them into the air. And that was super easy. Holy cow. Okay, so next level, got 800 money, clearly. I mean, that's 8 right there. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, You know what? Let's just use a bunch of archers. I have no idea what I'm doing, so you think this will work? Ouch, they're really taking it pretty uh, arrowy. I don't know, is that an adjective? I was going to try to think of a pun. Really couldn't, you know, who gives stuff about that? Who gives? Okay, so now we have, let's see, let me do the math here. So, you know, the problem with doing this is you actually have to do math yourself, which obviously you don't want to do, especially if you're not in school. So that's a thing, and this would be 150 would be 10%, and then all you do is double it, because, you know, that's how math works. And if you're into math, good for you. I don't know. So we have 1,200 money. We got some shields. Psh, no one cares about that. Okay, we'll do... Well, the thing I really have to keep in mind is that I can only spend with 300 money left. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I just put a bunch of shieldmen and farmers. Maybe that will do something. I'm not using the grid. I talked about using the grid, and then I never did. Whoops. Oh, well. Hopefully this will work out. Uh, maybe I can do this on the first attempt every single time. That'd be pretty sweet. I know that farmers are pretty much overpowered, so anything can be beaten with farmers, maybe? I don't know. Look at this, we got two guys versus two farmers. So farmers cost only 30, these guys cost 50. And look how many guys are still left. Do you think they're gonna win? Oh no, okay, he died. That's too bad. I was hoping he'd be the one. Victory, yay! Wow, this game is so easy, even on hard mode. That doesn't exist. You know what, we're gonna use boxers. We can have 260 money left, so we'll do that. And then, you know what will work? Because I don't. I was asking you. You're supposed to tell me. Come on. Oh, we lost. No. That's too bad. You know what? Boxers, they're not they are not really needed. We'll use barbarians this time. Because why not? We'll actually use the grid as well. Bam. Check this out. Yeah, isn't that super cool? And we won. Just flying through these levels, you know. No problem. Who cares about this? Okay, catapults. This might be the first level that's actually somewhat challenging. And we can only have 400 money left. So we'll do this. I was going to use the grid, and then I forgot. Oops. Oh, well. Um, What are we going to do about those catapults, huh? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put in some Taekwondo guys. Because that might help. Somehow. Okay, hopefully they can reach him in time. Taekwondo's are good. Look at them. He's sprinting towards him like it's a race or something. I don't know. God dang it. Why can't I think of metaphors that actually correctly adapt to the situation? Okay, here we go. You can do this, buddy. Nope. Where are you going? Hide behind the tree. Look at this guy. Come from the back. Yeah. There we go. The kick. The kick of doom right there. Pretty impressive. All right. Well, we're already on this one. That's good for me. Okay, here we go. 
catapult to take out the shields, and the rest are farmers. Should be good. Nope, catapult completely missed. Way to go, dude. How do you get on this firing squad? Squad thing. Are there even tryouts? Come on. I mean, you gotta have tryouts, right? Wow, we got demolished. What happened? Alright, well, we're gonna lose. You know, no one likes losing. Losing is for losers. You know, winners like to usually win. That's why they're called winners. And that's what I prefer. You know what? We're gonna have all you guys in one spot. That's what. Yeah. Okay, do you think he'll get them? He has very good aim, but can he fire fast enough? Yes! Clump together like that. That's what I like to see. Yes, lose your swords as well. Can't really call them swordsmen when they don't have swords, right? Well, I guess they're called footmen, aren't they? Dang it! Aw, oh, man! Okay, what's happening? Let's go, army of completely weak units! Yes, farmers, barbarians, peasants. What else do you need besides the cheapest things possible? That's always the goal in life, to get the cheapest things possible, am I right? Let's see it in slow motion. Let's see those slaps. Okay, not much going on. That was a waste. I'm sorry for wasting your time by making it go slower. You know, if there was a real life slow motion, that'd be pretty sweet. I mean, you could be like, I'm going to think about this decision. Slow motion, you know? But that doesn't exist, because nothing actually cool exists in the world. Wow, that's a pessimistic view. Okay, headbutters for the archers, because they move nice and fast. And then hopefully the farmers for the rest. Oh, come on, you guys. You got this. You can reach him. Come on, one dude. Yes, look at that front flip. Lovely. I rate it 10 out of 11. I was going to say 10 out of 10, but it wasn't perfect. Sorry. I changed his scale based on my feelings, I guess. Look, he walks so fast that the archers can't even hit him. Man, the headbutters are pretty cool. Oh, oh no, he's still alive. Got back up. Man, that guy took down, like, the whole archer army. Okay. Let's go chariot against the muskets, and then a bunch of headbutters, because what else do you need besides speed? Uh, speed is necessary. You know, I'm not going to copy other people's saying. Psh, why would I do that? Let's see what happens. Let's go. Yeah, look at that chariot. Still alive. This was an easy level. The muskets reload speed of six seconds. Psh, you die in six seconds, buddy. That's how life your lifespan is. You're dead. Oh, wow. We're going to lose 600 bucks in this one, so we got to make sure we spend it wisely. Alright, we got a few Vikings, farmers, headbutters, and of course the chariot to hopefully do some early damage. Yes, it's like the first strike. Look at that. Beautiful. I like it. Now let's see some action for the headbutters. Whoa, we're coming right down the line. That was beautiful. The chariot really took one for the team. Actually, he's still alive, so he didn't even take any for the team. He just was there for the team. Are these guys wearing masks? Those look like the footman masks. That was not even close. We're just flying through this. All right. Whole bunch of farmers and one axe dude, because why not? Maybe he'll be able to take down the catapults. They do seem pretty good against catapults, because they don't die immediately. And that's a good thing. Oh, there's the chicken man. This must be level 10. Didn't even realize it. Oh, no. Are we actually going to lose? Big giant ball to the head, but it's okay. He's only a concussion. All right, now he's dead. Okay. Oh, come on, you guys. There's so few people left, and there's only a catapult. They all went after the chicken man and just got destroyed by the catapults. But come on, peasants. It was peasants, farmers, and Vikings. Just a whole bunch of random units, really, but come on. Oh, ouch. Right in the body part. Okay, finally. That level took a few tries, but a lot of peasants, a lot of Vikings and stuff. And now it's back to this type of thing. Woohoo! And you know what we're going to do for this one is just spam a bunch of farmers. We've got 300 money that we cannot spend. You know, going into this challenge, I thought maybe this isn't even possible. You know, 20% of your money, that's a decent amount. You know, you got to spend your money and stuff. But it turns out this is just really easy. You just got to spam a bunch of cheap units. Like... This one, we're going to have $500 we cannot use. But the fact is, we could probably just win with, like, one Hillary. We don't even need that $500. Let's see what happens. Oh, kidding me? Defeat on the last guy. Man, that was super close. Aw. <laughs> this Axeman decided to get a tan right here. Pretty good exercise position, I think. Maybe do some curl-ups. Looks pretty good to me. And unfortunately, 
we won. Yeah, such a disappointment. I know. Why do I say unfortunately so much? Why do I say the same words? Increase your vocabulary, man. Okay. Obviously, headbutters because spear throwers. Anytime there's just a unit that needs to be hit right away, I just go with headbutters. And then a few farmers in the back, because that's all you need, really. Blammo. Wait, we only have 400 bucks we cannot spend. Okay, there we go. Psh, hard mode. More like not really that difficult mode. Yeah, I know. Really rolls off the tongue. Whoa, that guy like flew into another dimension. Oh man, I wish I was that man. Really takes the pressure off battling when you fly away. Look at that spear throw. Dude, go to the Olympics for the javelin. What are you doing? Compete for the country of uh tabs, I guess. That's a country, right? Yeah. In other news today, we have won. Again. Yep. The world of tabs always wins. Scientists have rediscovered a new way to win. It's called by winning and not losing. Yay. What a famous quote by me. On to the Japan levels. Yay. Now it's just a bunch of samurai. You know what's good against that? Just a bunch of archers. Yep. Man, look at this pose this guy has going on. Isn't that fancy? Look at those legs. They're like little machines. Looks like a toy. Oh, no. Please tell me the tree hitboxes aren't that crazy. Dude, it's flying into thin air. There's an invisible wall right here. What's going on? Oh, no. Okay, well, time to restart. Woohoo, stupid trees. Psh. Another victory. Not a huge surprise, honestly. I mean, I wouldn't be progressing unless if I was winning, so that's what happens. Let's try some Ninja Master. Honestly, I bet we could win by spending about, like, 40%. Or maybe maybe 50%? I don't know. Do you think you can win spending only half your money on all these levels? I really doubt it. I mean, 20%, it's noticeable amount, obviously, but it's still not too difficult to win. I mean, the most I've tried is probably five times on that chicken man level because it was kind of annoying but look at this what are we losing oh there's a bunch of ninjas I didn't even realize that well you're no good against your master bow down fool he's even got the higher ground you got no chance okay you have a small chance just don't believe these guys can't seem to move in the right direction please stop moonwalking oh are you kidding defeat Clubs and pitchforks. What else do you need to bring to the battle? I don't know. This is all you need, really. You don't need, like, a war, general, a strategy, or any modern weapons. Just pitchforks. Some hats, you know, those always help. And that's about it. Okay, that didn't work. My bad. Oh, could this be the attempt? I don't know. There's two ninjas left. I tried to put in a bunch of headbutters, but they keep missing with their headbutts. And they don't even kill them in one attack. So what's with that? Oh, here we go. Bam! See, he died. He hit him. Oh, now he's dead. Yeah, for sure. Come on, peasants. No, what's wrong with you people? Why are you walking backwards? That's not the strategy. Oh my god, you're like a zombie. What's wrong with you? No, are you kidding me? Man, I was so close. <coughs> this level's hard. Really hard. Come on, peasants. Slap him. Slap him to death. Give him the old slapperoo. Oh, or jump at him. Yes, okay, finally. That one took some effort and some planning. Had to group up some peasants and some farmers and stuff. You know, tough stuff. <laughs> I like how the bear roller actually burns them to blackness. That must be painful. But the bear roller actually really worked out, and it seems like archers are actually way better at killing than ninjas. So that is good. All you gotta do is spam archers. Oh, wait. It's actually a little closer than I thought it would be. You still got a few guys left. Don't hide behind the rock. That's cheating. You're not allowed to be smart in battle. Come on. Okay, yeah, we did it. Cool. Let's go, Hillary. You can take down all these guys, because I believe there are no ranged units. And then a bunch of peasants. I had $600 that I could not spend, so that's quite a bit. I mean, like the last time, I can't just buy M16 and beat this one. Oh, no, Hillary's dead. Are you kidding me? That is a problem. Major problem. Okay, so instead we're going to have to go with the Ninja Master strategy, I feel like. Okay, we got two Ninja Masters. Oh, no. No. What's happening, dude? Don't give up on life that easily. 
Just because you take a sword to the face doesn't mean you can't be living forever. Oh no. What is wrong with these ninja masters? They can't seem to find their targets. Alright, finally. That one was, again, very difficult. So I had to spam peasants and ninjas to beat that one. Because I think spamming ninjas is actually better than having a bunch of ninja masters. Anyway, final level against the Chicken Man Man. We have 800 less dollars, so 3200 to spend. That's still enough for M16. I think this will be pretty easy. Alright, let's see. Peasants and an M16. Let's go! Fire your amazing laser shots that kill things super quickly. He does have very little health, so if anything touches him, he'll probably die. But the peasants should buy him a lot of time, I'm hoping. That way all the chicken men and samurai are dead. And he can just focus on the chicken man man. Yes, shoot him. He doesn't know what hit him. Besides probably a bunch of lasers. Oh, jeez, okay. Hmm. That was kind of tricky. Okay, next up, farmer spam. Plus a Hillary. Hopefully she can do a lot of range damage. Whoops, the camera keeps flipping. That is my bad. Okay, it's tough to tell if we're winning. We still got a lot of units in Hillary's hopefully hitting him with those emails, or her. Well, it's a chicken man man, so I assume it's a guy, because the word man, but... Uh, not looking so good. She does have a lot of health. She'll be able to withstand a lot of chicken beatings. Those chickens really hurt. But I don't think her emails do enough damage. And she's getting kicked. Ouch. You don't want to be kicked by a giant. Or just walked over, really. Come on, farmers. There's two farmers left. Maybe they can salvage the situation. No, doesn't. Oh, yes, we did it. I didn't think it would happen, but we did. We beat Tabs on hard mode. Quote, I suppose. Anyway, that's going to be it for this. I hope you enjoyed. If you found this content to be somewhat interesting, you can leave a like. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.